All right, next news is out of North Carolina again. Hmm. North Carolina Republican Lieutenant Governor says diversity and multiculturalism will destroy the country. Uh, North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest, a Republican, told conservative Christian audience about the awfulness of diversity during a sermon. And, quote, no other nation, my friends, has ever survived the diversity and multiculturalism that America faces today hmm. because of lack of assimilation, because of this division, and because of its identity politics, Forrest claimed. But no other nation has ever been founded on the principles of Jesus Christ that begin in the redemption and reconciliation through the atoning of blood of our Savior, he added. So, yeah, this guy is basically saying that all, all the different cultures we have and, and PC politics and all that stuff is, is what is going to ruin the nation. You know what kind of culture ruins the nation? What's that? Christian culture. <laughs> <laughs> But what do you think about what this guy is saying? It's, I mean, there's not, nothing really to say. It's, it's kind of a joke um, for, for the most part. I do believe that more assimilation definitely helps um helps bring communities together it helps people experience more and when people experience more of other cultures and other uh you know people from different races we become more empathetic mm. uh so it's it's just good in general to be that way but i definitely don't think that some people few people not wanting to assimilate to american culture few people not um wanting to participate in their communities. I don't think that's going to destroy the country. See, I, okay, so I think this guy is saying so, diversity and multiculturalism, these are completely separate thing. And also when you're talking about multiculture, you have to first tell me what you mean by culture, because culture has two different meanings, right? Uh, culture could, it, cu culture, uh, sometimes when see, people say culture, they're referring to dance, music, art, food, um and so you know stuff like that, stuff that you enjoy when it comes to that that definition of culture i you know i love multiculturalism and i think me more, too more yes. multi like more diversity of culture in that situation is great and in, in places where you have more diversity of that kind of culture the better right when it comes but the second definition of culture is values and um standards of living right that second definition right. of culture um i don't agree with multiculturalism at that point because there are definitely better values and better ways to live and you should only accept the best ways of living right the best standards the best values right and not um when it comes to that definition of culture multiculturalism is a bad idea right and i say right. multiculturalism is bad idea is not just multiculturalism and even your own culture could be a bad idea right you shouldn't you should reject bad cultures from outside and from inside right uh, you should just go by based on data and analysis and try to adopt the best values and best the best standards of living and maybe change your own culture if, if need be and prog um, have progress right it doesn't matter if it's coming from inside or from outside you just have to go with the best standards right um so you know multi when it comes to diversity Again, you know, it, you should, it, the people's ethnicity or race, none of that matters. You should just reject uh, different values and different kinds of people, regardless of their race or ethnicity, and accept the ones that, you know, have better standards and better, you know, behavior regarding of their ethnicity or background or anything like that. Um, but, you know, throughout, if you look at, again, this guy says like, oh, other cultures are bad, well, and he's endorsing Christian culture, which is one of the m most damaging ones. Um, but if you look at history, um, the, the most advanced centers of science, philosophy, trade, art, um, throughout history were also the most diverse ones. Right, like they became, and but that's not because of the diversity. It was a side effect of the uh, of the progress, right? So, for example, right. if you go to, um, you know, you know, a a ancient, you know, Iran or ancient, um, if you go to, to look at Baghdad or if you go look at Rome, the cities that became the hub of all knowledge and you know trade and everything. When you went there, you it became like. Th those cities were also extremely diverse so it's exact it's usually the opposite of what people say throughout history we 
because but that's not because the diversity the diversity didn't make those city great but because those city became so great it became such a magnet from people around the world right uh, right so so many people so i i don't think this diversity uh, and multiculturalism doesn't uh, hurt a nation it's just a bad culture bad values that's you know so you shouldn't you should just didn't reject bad values um regardless of where they're coming from right whether from it in or outside um and you, you know that's all i think and but when it comes to art and dance and food and stuff i think everybody enjoys a more diversity of culture when it comes to that you know there's no harm in um, you know it just makes your city a lot more fun and colorful and you know there's more food to enjoy more art to enjoy who doesn't like that right uh, let me see right. you were saying that's the problem with these right-wing nutters they make valid points to a degree about the need to assimilate and for culture cultural common ground and then take it to a crazy level yeah usually these things have a le little bit of um truth to them but then they come up with wrong conclusions from it so palm is saying if i remember co correctly these uh there was a study with let me read that again if i remember correctly the there was a study which showed that strict intra-race procreation is actually harmful well i don't know if that's true or false chris is saying do you know why the roman empire lasted as long as it did because they took uh facets of each culture and integrated them into their own culture well uh, i thought it was because they um let the actually i have to look into that but i f remember the armies that they hired became way too powerful uh, and there were armies from other n nations and they gave them so much control over everything at some point these armies decided like hey there's more of us than the romans so we can control shit anyways maybe correct me if i'm wrong uh, on my history atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening let's make it difficult for them to ignore us we have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.